Hey everyone, so here's a question on factorization and the question here is factorize a plus b square minus a minus b square. So this is very important and simple question. It can come for 2 mark or 3 mark. The question is, they are asking us to solve this further and factorize it. So we're going to apply identities. If you look at the question, we have a plus b square and a minus b square, which are nothing but the identities. We have to just substitute and get the answer. So before that, let me write down what is a plus b whole square. So we know that a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Similarly, a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So we're going to just simply substitute and get the answer. So the question is a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square. So in place of a plus b, I'm going to write down, in place of this, I'm going to write down a square plus 2ab plus b square minus. Now again, here it's minus is there, so this is important step here. This minus sign is getting multiplied with a minus b whole square. So that is why I have kept the bracket over here. So minus this a square minus 2ab plus b square. So here we'll get a square minus 2ab plus b square. Okay. So here multiplying with minus sign or we can say I'm multiplying with minus 1. There's a no number outside the bracket means there's a 1. We can assume there's a 1. Or you can just simply multiply with minus. Now this is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now we're going to start multiplying with negative sign. So minus into a square will be minus a square. Next, minus into minus. This step is very important. Minus into minus is plus. So we'll get plus 2ab. Similarly, minus into plus is minus. So we'll get minus b square. Right? Now if you look at the question here, the step this step, we can cancel few terms here. So a square and minus a square can get cancelled because the signs are opposite. Similarly, plus b square and minus b square can also get cancelled. So we're left with 2ab plus 2ab. So 2ab plus 2ab is 4ab. So answer will be equal to 4ab. That's it. So this was a simple question. You have to just apply the identity and just cancel out which are similar or the like terms. And that's it. I hope it's clear how we have solved. In case you have any question or doubts, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.